Hey guys, today we are going to look at writing quadratic equations in vertex form. We're going to answer the question, how do I write quadratic equations given the vertex and a point? So when you're given the vertex and a point, we will start by writing it in vertex form since there's a vertex and a point in there, and then we will convert it to standard form. So here are more detailed steps to do that. The first thing we need to do is identify the vertex of the quadratic, and we're going to label that as H and K because that goes in for H and K. Then we will identify another point. They'll either give us that point or we will pick it from the table or graph and we'll label it as X and Y, X and Y. So we will substitute H, K, X, Y into the formula. And if you notice the only value, the only parameter we're not gonna have is A. So we will solve that equation for A. Then we will have everything we need to write it in vertex form. We'll have A, H, and K, because remember if it's an equation, X and Y are, we leave as X and Y. And then after we substitute those in for vertex form, we can convert it to standard form. So let's start on number one. I'm going to label my vertex as H, K, and then the point as X, Y. And now I'm gonna write down vertex form which is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So I'm going to replace h and k with two and four, and then I will replace x and y with three and six. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. Instead of y, I'm putting six equals a is what I'm solving for. So I'm going to leave that as a parentheses x is 3. And then h is positive 2. But remember, that formula has minus h. So I'm going to put minus 2 squared. And then k is 4. So plus 4. Okay, now I need to solve for A. So we need to simplify this before we can start doing inverse operations. So the first thing that I'm going to do is the parentheses, three minus two. So I'm gonna get six equals A times negative one squared plus four. Okay, I did parentheses. Now I'm gonna do the exponent. Remember negative one times, or negative one squared really means negative one times negative one. So that's just positive one. So six equals one A or just A plus four. And now the only thing I have to do to get A by itself is subtract four. So I get two equals A. So now I have everything I need to write my equation in vertex form. I have H and K, it's two and four, and then I just found A, it was two. So let's write the equation in vertex form. It would be Y equals two parentheses X minus two, since H was two, squared, and then plus four. So there is the first step of having the equation in standard or vertex form. Now I'm going to convert this to standard form. So let me write the vertex form over here. Y equals two times X minus two squared plus four. So the first thing that I need to do is multiply the X minus two squared. So I'm gonna use the box to do that over here. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then when I combine like terms, I get x squared minus 4x plus 4. So now I'm going to replace that with the product, and I'll distribute a 2 to it. So I get y equals 2 times x squared minus four X plus four plus four. And now I'm going to distribute the two and I get Y equals two X squared minus eight X plus eight plus four. 
And now I just need to combine like terms and I get y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 12. So there is the vertex form and the standard form for a parabola that has a vertex of 2, 4 and a point of 3, 6. And let's go ahead and check that we did this correctly. I pulled up the wrong app with Desmos. So I'm going to put this first equation, the vertex form one, two parentheses x minus two squared plus four. Okay, so it has the vertex two, four, like I thought, it's not letting me click on it, there it is. So it has the vertex two, four, and then we also wanna make sure it has the point three, six, which it does. Okay, so I wrote the vertex form correctly. Now let's just make sure I did the standard form correctly. It should make the same parabola, which it does. So that's how you can use Desmos to double check your work. Make sure it has that vertex and point and then make sure the vertex form and the standard form match. All right, let's do the same thing on number two. So first thing I'm going to do is label my vertex as H and K and the point as X and Y. And I'm first going to be substituting into vertex form, which is Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. And I'll replace H and K with negative 3 and negative 4. And I will replace X and Y with negative 5 and negative eight. So let's go ahead and do that. Y is eight. I'm going to leave A as A since that's what I'm solving for. Parentheses X is negative five. And then minus H is opposite H. So instead of negative three, I'm gonna put plus three squared. And then K was negative four. Okay, now I just need to solve this for a, so I need to simplify all of this. So I'm gonna get eight equals a times, I'm gonna do the parentheses first, negative five plus three is negative two. And then negative two squared means negative two times negative two, so a is multiplied by four, or I can write it as four a, and then minus four. And then I'm going to add four. Now I can solve it that all of that is simplified. And I get 12 equals four A, and then we'll divide by four and get that three equals A. So now I have everything I need to write the equation in vertex form. I have H and K, and I just solved for A, it was three. So let's write the equation in vertex form. It'll be y equals a was three parentheses x plus three since h was negative three squared and then minus four since k was negative four. So there is the vertex form. Now we are going to convert this to standard form. So I'm gonna write this up here y equals three times x plus three squared minus four. So the first thing that I need to do is multiply this x plus three squared. I'm going to use the box to do that. So x times x is x squared. x times three is three x. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. So then when I combine like terms, I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so now I'm going to replace that with its product, and then I will distribute the 3. So I get y equals 3 times x squared plus 6x x plus nine minus four. So now let's distribute the three. 
So I'll get y equals 3x squared plus 18x plus 27 minus 4. And then my last step is to combine like terms. And I get y equals 3x squared plus 18x plus 23. Okay, so on the first two problems, they gave us the vertex. They said, here's the vertex. So we knew we were going to use that for H and K. And they said, here's the point. So we knew that we were going to use that for X and Y. Number three, they did not say, here's the vertex, here's the point, but they gave us enough information to identify those things. So let's start by looking at number three. They gave us a table. They don't tell us which point is the vertex, but I can tell that three negative nine is the vertex because remember the vertex is a turning point of the parabola. So these points are reflected across from it. So there is the vertex H and K. And then I can use any other point for X and Y. Make it easier on yourself. I'm going to choose this last point for X and Y since first of all, I don't have any negative numbers like the rest of the points do. And then it also has a zero and usually zeros are easy to make calculations with. So now I am ready to plug into vertex form. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. I have HK, my vertex, three negative nine like we talked about. And then I have my point X, Y, six, zero. So now let's substitute. I'm going to replace Y with zero. I'm going to leave A as A since that's what I'm solving for. I'm going to replace X with six. And then H is positive three, so I will put minus three in the formula squared, and then K was negative nine, so I'll put minus nine. Okay, so now I just need to solve this for A, so first thing I'm gonna do is simplify the parentheses, and six minus three is three, and then three squared is nine, so this ends up being zero equals nine A minus nine, and then I add nine, and zero plus nine is nine equals nine A, and then I divide by nine, so one equals A. So now I have the three things I need to write in vertex form. I have A, it's one. I have H, it's three. I have K, it's negative nine. So let's write the equation in vertex form. It would be Y equals one times X minus three since H was three squared and then minus nine since K was negative nine. Okay, since this is a one, that's not gonna change anything if I distribute it, so I don't need to write that. So the simplest way to write this is by doing y equals x minus three squared minus nine. So there's the vertex form. I just need to convert that to a standard form now, which I'm gonna do up here y equals x minus three squared minus nine. So all I need to do is multiply this, do x minus three times x minus three and combine like terms with the negative nine. I don't have anything to distribute this time. So x minus three times x minus three is x squared negative three X, negative three X and positive nine. So then when I combine like terms, I get X squared minus six X plus nine. So I'm going to replace that with its product and I don't have to distribute anything. So I'm gonna drop the parentheses this time. So I get X squared minus six X plus nine, and then I bring down the minus nine. And then when I combine like terms, that's a zero pair, so those zero out. So the standard form is just y equals x squared minus six x. All right, let's look at number four. They did not tell us here's the vertex, here's the point, but they gave us a graph, which we can determine those things from a graph. So here is the vertex at 
3, 1. So I'll definitely be using that for H and K. And then they gave me this point right here, which it looks like that point is 6, 4. And then they gave me this point right here at 0, 4. So I can use either one of those for X and Y. I'm going to use this point right here just because I have a 0. Sometimes that makes calculations a little bit easier. So now I have H, K, X, and Y, so I can substitute in to vertex form and solve for A. So I'm replacing Y with 4. I'm replacing X with 0. I'm replacing H with 3, so it'll be minus 3 squared, and then I'm replacing K with 1. Okay, now I just need to solve this equation for A, so I'm going to do the parentheses first, and I get 4 equals A times 0 minus 3 is negative 3 squared plus 1. Now I'm going to simplify that. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. So this is 4 equals 9A plus 1, and then we'll subtract 1 and get 3 equals 9A. And then we'll divide by 9, and 3 over 9 simplifies to 1 third. So now I have my A value. It is 1 third. I have the H and K value for 3 and 1, so I can write the equation in vertex form. It'll be Y equals 1 third for A times X minus 3, since the X value of the vertex was 3, squared, and then plus 1. So there is the equation in vertex form, and now I just need to convert that to standard form, which I will do over here. Y equals 1 third times X minus 3 squared plus 1. So the first thing I need to do is multiply X minus 3 times X minus 3. So I'm going to use the box to do that. And I get x squared, negative 3x, negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So then when I combine like terms, I get x squared minus 6x plus 9 for that product. So now I'm going to replace this with its product. So I get y equals 1 third times x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 1. And now I'm going to distribute. So I get y equals 1 third times x is 1 third x squared. 1 third times negative 6x is negative 2x. 1 third times 9 is 3. And then bring down the plus 1. And then I just combine like terms. So the final standard form is y equals 1 third x squared minus 2x plus 4.